So we want to solve the equation for the given variable, and our equation is ax plus by equals c, and we want to solve that for y. Okay. This one's a little tricky because we don't really have any numbers here. We're dealing with a lot of different variables. Okay, We don't know what a, b, and c are. We don't know what x and y are. We are just have to deal with it as such. So again, the same rules still apply like we've done before, and we want to isolate y get by itself. So we see the addition separating the two main chunks here. So we want to subtract an ax to both sides. And we're left with, well, ax, we subtract ax from ax, and it cancels out, and we have nothing left. So we have by equals c minus ax. Okay, fantastic. But now we have that b times y again, that is multiplication going on there. So just like before, where b was just any number, we would divide by a b here to cancel out the multiplication, but we make sure we go to both parts here on the right. And now we're left with y equals c minus ax over b. And usually this is where I stop. You could put the b underneath both parts here, but since we don't know what c and a are, or even x for that matter of fact, we, um, we won't be able to cancel anything out. So I'm going to leave b as it is right here, but we are forgetting one last thing. Where what? Where b does not equal 0, because we know that b cannot equal 0, because that would make this equation undefined. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and have a good day.